explain different types of sewers. Sewers can be distinguished on the two bases. Principles of collection, principles of transport. On the basis of collection of water, they can be further classified in combined, separate, open channels and drains. While on the basis of way of transport and places to be taken, it can be distinguished as gravity, pressure, vacuum. Let's start with combined sewers. They are large networks of underground pipes that convey domestic sewage. industrial waste water and storm water runoff in the same pipe to a centralized treatment facility. Transport this to be processed waste water to a waste water treatment plant where it is treated and discharged to a water body. Separate sewer systems are designed to convey waste water and storm water in separate pipes. Sanitary sewer systems collect and transport wastewater. Storm sewer systems collect and transport storm water runoff. An open channel is a conveyance in which water flows with a free surface. The term is generally applied to natural and improved water courses. Gutters, ditches, and channels. These small channels and drains take water to a flowing source as river. Less expensive compared to underground sewer systems. Easy to construct but harmful for health. Conventional gravity sewers are large networks of underground pipes that convey black water, grey water and storm water from individual households to a centralized treatment facility using gravity. These kind of sewers use gravity as driving force and effectively work in places having nice slopes or with pipes at slopes to carry sewage easily. Pressure sewer is effective in rocky, hilly or areas with high groundwater table and utilize pumps to transport. When a certain level of effluent has been collected, it is pumped into the sewer via using pressure systems. Vacuum sewer systems use a central vacuum source to convey sewage from individual households to a central collection station. A central source of power to operate vacuum pumps is required to maintain vacuum on the collection system. A gravity line carries wastewater down to the collection chamber. Thus, we can summarize as